is Disney Queen Skelly here and uh, welcome back to another Disney Theories video. So guys, I am pretty sure this is the last Frozen theory we are dealing with. In fact, let me double check to make sure. Yes, this is the final Frozen theory that we are touching and it still doesn't make sense because it's the same deal. They're talking about the shipwreck and again, Frozen 2 pretty much debunks the whole thing. But again, if you don't want spoilers, please go watch Frozen for yourself. I'm not going to spoil anything. So today's uh, Disney theory is um, the king and queen survived the wreck and became Tarzan's parents. No, they didn't. I mean, I'm sorry. That's a huge spoiler. I am so sorry. No, they didn't. I'll read you the theory again. I, I just have a problem with this because of it's not true anymore. And I know around the time that this website was publishing their work, it was around the time Frozen was released and not Frozen 2. But at the same time, like, in one of the articles, I'll be reading it uh, in today's Disney Theory, the um, two of the directors state this matter of fact theory is true, but then completely go against it for the second movie. So I personally don't understand why you would confirm this theory if you're pretty much going to go against it in the next movie. But anyways, I'll also be reading an article that I've already read once in a previous Frozen Theory. So I do apologize if it's repetitive, it was just there. And, you know, some people haven't watched that those ones yet, so I'll, you know, they're probably just new to this. You guys are probably new to this, and hi, if you are. Um, but yeah, I'll just be reading you guys this, this Frozen theory, and then at the end, let me know what you think in the comment section. Enjoy. The king and queen survived the wreck and became Tarzan's parents. During the same Reddit AMA, Lee said, according to Chris Buck, co-director, they didn't die on the boat. They got washed up on shore in a jungle island. The queen gave birth to a baby boy. They build a treehouse. They get eaten by a leopard. She was joking, of course, we think. Of course, this would then make Tarzan the little brother of Anna and Elsa. Tarzan was raised by gorillas, but he's definitely a human. The insane new theory that connects Frozen and Tarzan. We all went crazy over the insane theory that connects Frozen, Tangled, and the Little Mermaid, but sadly the Frozen creators confirmed that it was indeed just a theory. But any true Disney fan knows there is always an untold story, and during a recent Reddit AMA, Frozen director Jennifer Lee blew our minds with the brand new one connecting Frozen and Tarzan. In response to questions about what happened to Anna and Elsa's parents who disappeared in Frozen is one of the biggest Disney mysteries, Jennifer revealed a mind-blowing theory from her Frozen co-director Chris Buck, who also worked on Tarzan. According to Chris, the king and queen didn't die in the storm, they were deserted on a jungle island. Story sound familiar? Ever heard of a little boy in a tree house and raised by gorillas because his parents were eaten by a leopard? His name might ring a bell. Tarzan. Mind blown. His, it's entirely possible that the king and queen of Arendelle veered off course in the stormy Norwegian waters, especially considering we never saw their ship sink. So that means not only is Tarzan and Anna Elsa's long lost little brother, but Tarzan is also the newest Disney prince. We can only hope for a family reunion. Once again, guys, like I said, this theory just isn't true anymore. I mean, I'm sorry, that that is a spoiler for the second movie, but this theory just isn't true. And it it was kind of, like I said in like the very first Frozen theory that I did, I really wasn't sure if I wanted to do them in the first place, only because this theory, these theories have been debunked by the second movie. But again, you guys should go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. There, It's a very good movie. I actually like it way better than the first movie. I think it's more detailed in terms of the story and they have definitely way better songs and it's more adult based and definitely more down to earth but anyways and this is the last frozen theory we are doing so far i have no idea what i'm going to be finding in the future but like i said i just i wasn't sure whether i wanted to do these theories or not but then i kind of figured well it would be like a throwback theory video like you would go and watch Frozen 2 and then it'd be like, oh, you know what's so fun? You remember what we used to think about the ship that drowned? But, you know, whatever the case is, unfortunately, these theories just aren't true anymore. It was just kind of fun and nice to go back and look at them, you know, while, you know, knowing what is now the theory. But anyways, I, well, not, not what the theory is, but like now why it's debunked. But anyways, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the last Frozen theory we will be talking about for now. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.